It's another middleweight match at the Apex. Dan Tom here with MMA Junkie to help you break down the main event for UFC Vegas 90 between Brendan Allen and Chris Curtis. Allen, who was initially slated to face Marvin Vittori, will now once again meet Curtis on short notice. Of course, these two met just over two years ago, where Curtis was able to score a second round upset stoppage via strikes. Now, since then, well, Allen's gotten a whole lot better. He will be trying to put that on display this Saturday. At the time of this video, the odds makers and the public are siding with Allen in the neighborhood of minus 210 with the comeback on your underdog Curtis in the neighborhood of plus 162. Thanks by my usual comments on odds makers and the betting public going ahead and making the winning fighter the first time, the underdog the second time, when the fights really didn't take place too far apart, I'm actually not surprised to see that this time around. And it's not the short notice intangibles, which were a factor last time, mind you, but more of the improvements and trends of Allen. Allen can really strike well with southpaws, arguably just as well as he does with orthodox. He still uses his jab against southpaws, something most MMA fighters uh, still don't for some reason, but he'll also unleash those brutal body kicks to the open side. And well, his record reflects the positive, uh, you know, reflection because of that. He is seven and two against UFC level lefties, and well, six and two in the UFC Apex if you want to count Allen's Aaron Jeffries' 2019 Contender Series win. However, the small cage is very favorable to Curtis too. He may not have fought as much in there, but he is technically two and zero inside the Apex cage, three and zero inside the UFC small cages, which of course his tough season took place in the old tough gym small cage. Nonetheless, I still think it favors his style of pressure countering, countering being the operative word. Allen, for as much improvements as we've seen, both on the ground with his striking as well as his striking on the feet. Fighters who can counter uh, have typically you know, posed him problems, even though he hasn't necessarily faced the strongest sample sizes of fighters who can counter both his takedowns and counter strike. That is kind of Chris Curtis's specialty. So for that reason, I'm actually going to side with him. Now, there is stated bias for Extreme Couture, his chief corner, Eric Nixick. That's definitely, I, I hold that bag. I am guilty as charged. But for the reasons I just stated in showing my work, I actually probably would still take a flyer on the underdog in this spot. For more from me as far as a Curtis pathway, as well as a pathway for Allen, if you like that side, check out my in-depth breakdown at MMAJunkie.com where you can find results this weekend.